what's going on guys mimic here with another video this one is going to be straight to the point i'm talking a little bit about how to get rich the first month of launch and ways that you can actually improve your opportunities on you know making the most loosened that you can which is going to kind of steamroll into um you know your your progression once you get to level 50 and 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 everything after that so we'll be touching on a couple of tips that i learned along the way that maybe can help you guys out once the game launches and uh we'll be breaking all of that down in this video real quick just want to thank all my subscribers you finally got the 2k subscriptions thank you so much for all your support i appreciate it all the people that like my videos thank you so much i really appreciate um that you guys watch my videos and enjoy the content and then of course all the people that comment thank you so much for your comments let's jump in so when this game first comes out guys and you're going to start playing the game okay everybody and their mother is going to want that quick progression everyone is going to be trying to rush end game everyone is going to be trying to be the strongest person in the server the strongest great sword user the strongest tank the, st the strongest uh ranger the strongest uh wizard everyone's going to be trying to rush progression but the thing is not everyone is going to know the best ways to do it not everyone is going to know uh, the things that maybe you guys know because you guys watch my videos and you guys kind of have like a, a rough guide on what you guys should be focusing on when the game does come out and not everyone's going to have that information so a lot of people are going to be making mistakes they're going to be doing things that cause them to waste time they're going to be doing things that cause them to waste money but waste lucent they're going to be selling the wrong items buying the wrong items leveling the wrong things and along the way that is going to cause uh, it's going to make an opportunity for all the people that are ready for that right if you're ready for that and you know that there's going to be um you know people making mistakes you can position yourself so that you're ready and available to take advantage of that okay and i'm going to show you how to do that in this video now like i said everyone's going to want to rush that progression and the swipers the people that got money are going to be swiping so 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 hard and the thing is when the game first comes out all of these materials, uh, if you go to, to your auction house and you go to other and you look at your materials, these precious Marins, these are going to be very, very expensive when the game first comes out. You can see they're only 28 Lucent, 28.5 Lucent now for one. When this game came out, I've started playing like I think two to three weeks after the game launched. And within that first month, these precious Marins were about 180 Lucent a pop. Okay, so they were way, way, way more expensive than they are now. And the number one thing that you're going to want to sell for profit is going to be these precious Marins and also the rare Marins. I remember these rare Marins were, and I can't even remember how expensive they were. They were very expensive. Um, I think these were like 15 to 20 a pop. The rare marins and now they're only three lucent okay and same thing these precious marins were 186 to 150 to 190 i would say okay now they're only 28 uh now both of these marins the precious marins and the rare marins you can get them from doing the events okay these events that pop daily will drop marins okay you can see here these are giving you ch uh, books on this one these are going to give you rare parchments on this one. If you go to the talisman, same thing. They give you these uh, books now that now you're getting books instead of the Marins. But sometimes some of these events will give you Marins. Okay, like right here, you can get two precious Marins if you rank one on this event, Desert Caravan. If you rank between two and five, you can get one precious Marin. If you rank between six and ten, you can get one precious Marin. So if you do these events early, and you rank well you'll be getting marins you can see ranked 11 to 20 gives you seven rare marins well guys if you guys are doing these right and you're doing these when the game first comes out and you're doing all your events all the time like you're doing every event it's like literally every hour that they come up uh mostly you can get these marins a lot okay and you can just sell them on the market people are going to be swiping they're going to want that quick progression and instead of them having to do the events to farm the marins they're just going to swipe really hard they're going to go buy the in-game currency lucent and they're going to buy your marins and you can use that lucent that you make to 
buy other things for your character that you're going to need and we'll get into that here in a second but the number one thing you're going to want to do is sell these marins hands down it's the number one thing you're going to want to buy and sell again purple marins blue marins you can even sell the green quality marins if you have those as well uh now one purple marin you can make a purple marin with 15 rare marins okay um so in your server when the game first comes out you're gonna have to do the math to figure out okay does it actually make sense to sell the rare marins or should i just sell the purple marins because the way i was doing it is at the time i was buying the purple marins i was disenchanting them or dissolving them to get rare marins which are the blue ones you get 15 of them when you dis when you disenchant a purple marin here's a purple marin here and just for the video i'm gonna do it so you guys see but here's a purple marin let's assume this is the beginning of the server this is 180 lucent and i want to get my skills right let's say my skills are just barely getting to blue or maybe they're green and i'm gonna get them to blue well when your skills are blue which none of mine are literally each skill i have is purple every single skill that i have is purple but when they are blue they're gonna cost blue marins when you level them up and um you're gonna need those blue marins if you go click here you can level them of course these are going to need the books to level them but the way it works is and i've made videos on this so i apologize if it doesn't make sense in this video but check my playlist i break all this down you'll want to come up here to this skill researchers person and you'll click here and you'll see here that for every single book you craft it's going to cost you one rare marin and it's going to cost you five rare parchment now as you progress through the game these rare parchments will be given to you you get them in events you get them by doing quests you get them doing a plethora of different activities okay and the way the parchments work is the same way that the marins work everything in this game goes up and everything in this game goes down for instance uh if i go to my inventory and i see uh see these blue rare marins here okay i've got 65 69 of them um to turn these into purple marins, you have to get them. You have to come over here, and I'll just do it for the video real quick, and then we'll, we'll change subjects. You have to come to Stoneguard Castle, okay? And at Stoneguard Castle is the only place in the map so far that you can level up purple stuff. Um, you have to come here to level up purple stuff. And what you'll do is you'll come to the Senior Skills Researcher right here, because this is where you're going to be getting all your endgame stuff. And you're going to come down to the skill book and you can see here i can make four precious marins because it's 15 a pop so 69 divided by 15 is four of course if you're going to do that cost 172,000 gold and then you know i'll just make them really quick for the video you'll craft them and there you go now i have four marins same thing with the rare parchments the rare parchments cost 15 green parchments and then you can make a rare parchment for every 15. you can see if i wanted to do that it cost me 73,000 gold. I'm just going to do it for the video so you guys can see there. And then same thing with the precious parchments. You're going to need these precious parchments to make your purple skills. And you can see here how expensive they are. Just for 10, you need 138,000 gold. And it's 150 blue parchments for one precious parchment. So everything in this game goes up. And then same thing. If I want to take these, these back down, I just click them, hit dissolve. And you can see it's going to give me 75 rare marins for 168,000 gold. So it goes up and it goes down. You just have to have the gold to uh, actually do it. And obviously you have to have the resource so that you can do it. And what I'm trying to get at, guys, is that you're going to have to go and look in the auction house. When when the game first started, you could buy rare, you could buy 15 rare marins, but the price of 15 rare marins was much more than the price of just one purple marin. So what I was doing is I was just buying the purple marins and I was just dissolving them to get the 15 rare marins. And then I was taking those rare marins and I was going back to Vienta Village. We'll go back there now. Actually, we don't need to. We can just do it here. Let's here. You can do everything um i was coming here and then i was just making the at the time it was great sword so i was great sword and i was making the these uh training books and then i would buy the training books i would craft them all it cost some gold and then i would take those training books and i would level up all my gear now you're gonna have to i mean not all my gear all my skills you're gonna have to make a decision guys are you sacrificing 
progression to make lucent at the at the beginning because instead of using your marins to make your character stronger you're gonna have to make a decision do i want to sell these since i'm getting a premium on them right now and make more lucent because lucent is you know it's hard to get lucent right so if you can make a premium on your marins on your on your stuff because there's people willing to pay a premium for it because the game just came out and they're trying to rush your progression is it worth you sacrificing some of your progression to make lucent you're gonna have to make that decision i kind of did like a half and half i made some lucent and then i made some progression i made some lucent and then i made some progression so that that's how i did it but you're gonna have to figure out what's more important to you making lucent because these are very expensive because in time these are going to go down in price you can see they're 32. that doesn't make any sense for me to sell any precious marriage right now because they're so cheap it makes more sense for me to actually buy them now because they're so cheap and then use those to level up my gear aka if i was a swiper it would have been more advantageous for me to swipe towards you know two or three months into the game when everything dropped in price as opposed to getting it right when it right when the game came out because i could buy one of these for 150 180 lucent or i can wait a few months and then buy a bunch more for less you can see it's only 32 so i can stretch out my lucent stretch out my swiping power just by being a little bit of pay just be being patient and waiting for the market to come down in price and the reason this happened is because there was a server merge and obviously um you know there's more people uh playing the game there's a merge in the server and more more population there's going to be more supply less demand so price is going to drop just like it does in real life if there was only one gallon of water in the whole world that gallon of water would be priceless but because there's water is in abundance water is very cheap right uh, in most places of the world you know like first 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 world countries water is very cheap obviously you go to like other countries where they don't have like an infrastructure water is going to be more expensive because they don't have it again supply and demand it's the same thing with this game when the game first comes out there's going to be not that much supply and there's going to be a ton of demand which is going to keep that price up as the game progresses as time progresses there's going to be more people playing the events which means there's going to be a more supply of the item and there's going to be less demand because people are are already going to be getting their stuff to purple initially when the game first comes out people are trying to rush their stuff to purple which is why the price is so high on that so you're going to have to make a decision do i want to sell all my purple stuff and gimp my progression in the short term but i'll be making a lot of lucent or do i want to rush progression you know not get any lucent but i'll be able to get stronger quicker that decision will rest on you i cannot tell you what to do i can only tell you what i did which was like a mix it was like a hybrid 50 50. i was um i was buying purple marins disenchanting them and i did that to get all my skills to purple for sure um now same thing with traits guys the traits are the same thing uh when the first game comes when the game first comes out People are not going to know which traits are the best. If you've been watching my content, you guys already know which traits are the best. I don't want to cover that in this video because it's just a very long video, but watch my other videos in my playlist. I talk about best in slot traits. I go into uh, thoroughly why they're best in slot and I go into, you know, which which traits you want for every piece and where to get them X, Y, Z. OK, but in this video, it's the same thing, guys. Like if you just look like this, this armor when it first came out, was selling for so much it was like i don't even know like twenty thousand lucent now the most expensive one is only 1500 lucent and it's the same reason supply and demand there's more supply than there is demand because time has passed and because of that the loose the price goes down okay so you know same thing if you get an item that you know is expensive uh because you've been watching my content sell it for the premium price do not settle for cheap settle sell it for a lot of money um same thing uh these boots here if you go to the map and you go to these boots over here that spawn in phonos okay and, and over here in phonos basin these soldiers drop the general charge boots you know that i've made a few videos that i wanted these boots so bad uh and and i would have done anything for these boots well i actually ended up getting them and here they are right here and i got these because our server is flooded with bots and i'm gonna make a video on this next about what i think about bots and how they're kind of changing the way the server and the game feels i'll make another video on that it's coming up next after this video but the reason i was able to get these boots was because the bots came in i mean hundreds and hundreds of bots guys and these bots char uh 
Look at these these boots. I can't believe how cheap they are. They're 330 lucent, guys. This is insanity. These boots before there was bots and 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 someone had got these boots in the server. These boots were selling for like 30 to 50 thousand lucent, just for a pair of boots. And they and it had like mana. Or endurance it did not have like a best in slot trait and they were selling for that much but then the bots came and they're just going crazy right now so you know they're they're getting these boots you know really cheap and now you can buy them for literally nothing like 1900 lucent with best in slot movement speed are you kidding me you know what i mean like so i was able to get these boots uh but early what i'm getting at guys is early there's not you know you're not going to have a lot of bots in the game early hopefully in na i'm crossing my fingers that doesn't happen it's going to kill the game if it does but if there's no bots or little bots you you know you'll want to come to phonos guys and try to try your luck at trying to get these these boots early very early come and get these soldiers kill these soldiers all day if you want and try to get these boots because if you do get them early you can sell them on the market and you can flip them for a ton of lucent and you can make a lot of money doing that so it's all about positioning yourself early and knowing where to get the items and what to get to sell them for instance same thing if you come over here early to Sorodoma island there is a uh there's this cloth armor here it gives you plus 33 heavy attack chance okay this same armor the, the miracle mother nature clothing before the bots came it was selling for like 30 to 50 thousand loose in a pop now because obviously there's so many bots they're not selling that much they're right here look at this under a thousand loose guys you can get heavy attack chance insane okay and it's because there's so many bots right like, look, this guy's selling melee evasion, 7,000. But there's another melee evasion here for only 1,600. You guys think this guy selling for 7,000 is ever going to sell it? No way. And it's going to be the same thing, guys. Now, if this was early and there was none of these, but only this melee evasion was for 7,000, it would sell immediately because there's high demand but less supply and it's the same thing in the game guys so early 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 on i'm talking like the first weeks that this game is out you're going to want to be farming those high-end high-end pieces that people are going to have and want uh and, and you're going to make a lot of money that way so if you're trying to get rich and you're trying to get in front and make a, like as much money as you can the first month the first two months you're going to want to be selling your marins okay you're going to want to be farming these areas where these these items drop that are very, very good and very expensive. And you're going to want to be selling them. And again, you're going to have to choose, guys. Do I want to sell this best in slot piece for for melee DPS to charge boots? Do I want to sell them for Lucent or do I want to keep them? You're going to have to make that choice, guys. I can't make that choice for you personally. I probably would have sold them because my idea is I'm going to sell them for 30 to 40,000 lucent. Yes, I really want them, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait a month, two months, three months. Eventually, these will uh, come down in price and I'll rebuy them when they're cheaper. That's my mentality. That may not be your mentality. It is what it is, but that's just kind of giving. I'm just giving you guys my opinion on what I think. Now, that is pretty much it, guys. You're going to want to sell. These items, the Marins, it's their number one way you're going to make money in the game is your Marins. Because this is the only way that you can level up your skills. And skills are very important in this game. The more higher your skill level is, the more damage you do. So these are going to have a very high premium price on them, at least at the very beginning. So in my opinion, it makes sense to sell them. You add liquidity to the market, which keeps the economy strong and um you're gonna make lucent right and you can take that lucent later and you can buy your armor pieces that you need you can buy your traits for your pieces that you need um so in my opinion it makes sense to sell them but again it's up to you guys if you guys want to use them for your own progression so be it there's no right or wrong answer here it's this is this video is only for a strategy that you can use and it's a very temporary strategy it's only going to work the first like month or two of the game because as time progresses, like I mentioned, there's going to be more people selling the precious marins, which is going to drop the price. OK, it's just the way it works in real life, too. Same thing. Right. So you're going to have to choose, guys. Do you want that quick progression or do you want to make a lot of lucent when the price for the item that you're selling is, is trading for a premium? Personally, I'll take the premium. I'll take the lucent and I'll be patient and wait for prices to drop where I can rebuy the same product um you know that i had before for instance one precious marin was 150,000 lucent they're 30 now i can buy what five 
I can buy five of these for the same price that I was willing to sell one just two months prior. It makes way more sense for me to make the premium than it does to just use it, in my opinion. Uh, but again, it, you know, you play the MMO however you want to play it. I'm more of a stock market kind of guy in real life. So for me, I'm going to take a premium over using it in the short term because I know later I'm going to be able to get more for cheaper price. That's the video, guys. If you took anything from the video, throw me a like, throw me a comment and, and shoot me a sub. I appreciate it so much. Just to quickly recap before we end. Farm the high loot areas, okay? High loot areas, farm it early. Try to get those high loot uh, armor pieces. Um, sell your Marins early, do your events, okay? Do your events, sell your Marins, make a lot of Lucent, save the Lucent. If you get any best in slot traits like heavy attack or max health or melee evasion, sell those early, don't use them. I'm telling you, you're gonna make a lot more money early and then you can come back later when they're cheaper and buy them again and you'll still have Lucent left over. Okay, that's my strategy. I hope it helps you guys out. Uh, and hopefully this video doesn't make all the prices stay high for a very long time um, because that would not be good. But hope you guys liked it. Thanks so much for the view. Until next time, like I said, I'm making another video this week that I'm going to be releasing and we're going to be talking about the bots and what I think about it moving forward. Thanks so much, guys. Much love. Peace.